If all your friends jumped over a cliff, would you jump too? No one says that, we just do it. I don't think that's a very good idea. In fact, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 14 says something about that. It says, do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evil men. Avoid it, do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way for they cannot sleep till they do evil. They are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. Mm -hmm. And Proverbs 1.10 says that if sinners try to lead you into sin, do not go with them. Galatians 5.16 says that if you walk by the spirit, you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So what all does that mean? Well, that has to do with our Torah portion, which is Mishpatim, which is the judgments or rulings of God. These are God's rules. So how do you live by the rules? Well, first of all, you have to know the rules. So if all your friends don't know the rules or don't care about the rules and they decide to go jump off a bridge, that's probably not a good idea to follow them. But if you know the rules, then Exodus 23 verse 2 tells us what those rules are. It says, do not follow the crowd in doing wrong. Do not follow the crowd in doing wrong. Just because everybody else is doing it, if you know better, don't do it with them. Isn't that right? I have a much better path for you. Do you want to see the much better path? I thought so. We're going to go find it right over here. It is in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Yeshua says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Shabbat Shalom.